Okay. It's another wonderful day that the Lord has made. And uh, you all know that whenever I come online, there's nothing so much for me to talk about, but about business. I want to go straight to the point today to educate some of you who have been pondering on starting a new business. But I want to also assure you that you want to start a business but you're that type of person who is always afraid of being criticized. Then you are helping to fail yourself. You are helping to fail yourself. Business is one of those great, you know, ventures that a lot of people find it very difficult to engage on it. Probably because they are afraid that when they fail, their friends will definitely laugh at them criticize them you know and pinpoint them as a bunch of a fail of, of, of failure but i want to come today and let you know that failing in business is one of that most essential part that you need to go through in order to become successful in business listen to me and listen to me keenly failing in business is one of that particular aspect in establishment that you need to pass through in order to be strong when it comes to business you know in our society today many people tend to criticize we have thousands of thousands of people who criticize because to criticize is very cheap but those who actually you know visual who actually will actually make things uh, feasible who actually put ideas into practice there are very few of them and i want you today to get up and be one of that person who can actually make things happen especially in the business milieu or in the business field and that to make things happen in the business milieu before you start business there are four main pillars i mean four main things you need to put into consideration first of all you need capital you need a product, you need accessibility, you need affordability, you need reliability, and you need quality. Quality. If you're doing a business, you want to establish a new institution, you want to establish a new business, if these four main items are missing, you may be running a wrong business. So, Please, if you want to start a business, be it here in the United States, be it in Africa, be it in Cameroon, there are four major things you need to put in place. The capital, the availability of time to invest on that business, the accessibility, the product, the affordability, the quality, and lastly, serve independent. So, if you want to start a business, know that filling is one of that aspect in business that you will encounter you look at the most successful people in our society today they are failed many many times even i sitting here i have failed and i'm still failing but what does it makes what makes it different between you who have failed so many times when you fail the first thing you need to do is ask your question what made this business to fail? The next thing, how can I remedy that failure? The next thing, how can I do to ever prevent this not from happening? Okay, when once you discover this various aspect, you are ready for the next business. And don't ever fail at one the first time and you give up because in business, you only fail when you stop trying. Listen, you only fail when you stop trying. And there is no harm in trying and you have to do business you need to do your due diligence because you may be you may have a good product but the, ge the geographical location where you are based may not be the right place to explore that product you may have the capital but you may be investing it on a wrong product you may have the time to invest on business 
But you may be investing that time on a wrong product. So in the earlier you discover your product, those who will utilize your product and your geographical location of this product, the earlier for you. If you ever make a mistake in doing business and you don't listen to this video, you have yourself to blame. I said again, you have yourself to blame. So in business, I want to recaptivate this major point. First of all, the capital in doing business, the product you want to use, the accessibility or the geographical location of your business, the affordability of your business, the quality, and then making that business a self-dependable business. Take these points and take them for good. If you are failing, or if you are failing in business, it means you have not utilized these five major points I've mentioned. And I don't want you to fail in business again. It doesn't matter where you are establishing a business. It doesn't matter where, how much you have. But if you have millions and you don't establish the right business, you are bound to fail. If Tesla did not discover his Tesla cars, if he had 10,000 million US dollars and invested it on something else, he wouldn't have been where he is today. If Microsoft never discovered the fast growing technology in our society today, and he decided to come out with Microsoft products that is ruling the world today, he wouldn't have been where he is today. So when you want to start a business, check, look what is what can sustain for the next 10, 20 years without any major challenge. Anyway, in business, you always have major challenges. You always have your competitors. But there's something in business that you need to be very careful. You need to keep on improving, improving because you have so many rivals of your business. You have so many competitors. Build your business in such, in such a way that even your competitor comes up in the next 5, 10 years, they will not be able to crush you down. And those are the power in becoming a successful businessman. Put this in mind. Listen to this video and listen to this video and make sure you should not be panicking. You should not be afraid to establish a new product for yourself because you need a product to become a, to become a successful businessman. Thank you very much.